Welcome back to WIBW News Now at Noon here with uh, USD 501 Superintendent Julie Ford. And Julie, you guys announced a big program for your schools today. What can you tell us about it? Well, first of all, we're really inviting our community into our schools. We're anxious to hear how the community would want to be engaged to help us with our kids. And Everyone needs to understand we're 77% free and reduced, and really poverty is an issue in Topeka and in Topeka Public Schools. And because of that, we really are encouraging more mentoring. So we're starting with 100 new mentors by Labor Day is our goal. Um, an easy way to sign up to mentor is through Big Brothers Big Sisters. And people may not understand what the program really involves is 30 minutes a week during school. It's usually around the lunch hour where a mentor will meet with a student, they will read, they will work on a, a relationship. And that's what a lot of our students need as an adult uh, positive role re relationship. And then also to model respect. Uh, students need to see models that come in and show what it means to live a respectful life. We're really opening our doors, asking for churches to wrap their arms around Topeka Public Schools, around the community in general. There may be other ways that people want to volunteer. Um, we have ShareFest that's coming up in the near future. It's where maybe people that don't want to volunteer with a child but would like to help work and fix up a school and make it look delightful for students, that's a good opportunity too. Um, but we have many churches that do uh, have adopted a school and are working with them weekly and we just want to encourage for the community to reach out to us and we're reaching out to the community and saying please think about getting involved in Topeka Public Schools one-on-one -on -one with a student or adopting a school or um, offering to help in any way you can. You know, I, I was uh, with Big Brothers Big Sisters when I lived down in Wichita, and I, I did the Bigs in Schools program where I had lunch with a kid uh, once a week. Is that about the same thing? It is, and it really isn't a huge commitment for the person coming in. Now, there is a program, too, where you can do the, the evening events and that, too, but a lot of people are, are nervous about taking that much time, but they might think about I could do an hour a week in a school and be a one-on-one -on -one and listen to a child read and develop a relationship and be a model for that student and it's a perfect way and we really need men to reach out and think about doing this. So many of our students that are wanting a big brother, a uh, big sister, are little boys so we're really encouraging especially men if they would think about doing it. You know, you said 77% on free and reduced lunches and you talked about the poverty level. Is Topeka Public Schools probably on the higher end of that rate than most schools in the state of Kansas? We are, um, and I don't know the exact rate. I know Kansas City, Kansas is uh, the most impoverished district. There's some districts in southeast Kansas, but really poverty is a, we're right up there with them. Uh, you know, as we look at what we can do, you know, if a family, we have to meet their basic needs first in order for them to be able to perform at school. And so that means we do breakfast programs, we do lunch programs, we do some backpacks through harvesters where students are able to take home some food on the weekends. But you know, if a student is hungry, they can't come to school and learn. But we also need to make them feel that they're supported and their families, and a lot of the families are working their way out of poverty, but the school system may be the only real support that they're connected to. So it is a big, broad mission, but really they're all of the children are, are ours, and they belong to all the people. And if we're going to reach out, um, I know uh, the Methodist Church is doing a big event on Thursday night to support public education. It's about really making time to volunteer and mentor and also just... Um, being proactive for public education. You know, you're only a couple of weeks here from the start of the school year. Are you guys prepared for the doors opening and the buses running? We are. Now today I said we're panicking a little. We've had a little technology problems. We, uh, Part of our bond issue is we're reading our infrastructure, which will make it great in the future, but sometimes you have to pay along the way. So we're hoping today we'll get those problems figured out because enrollment starts this week. So as parents need to look at the times, uh, um, uh, both at high school, middle school, and elementary, but we're looking forward to seeing our parents and our community in this week to, to get our stu students enrolled. And we can't wait for the start of school. It's uh, important for our kids to come back. That's what we're here for, and we miss them when they're gone. So, all right, you've got, you've got a couple of weeks left, and you still want to get this program started really quickly. If somebody wants to volunteer and, and become a mentor for a child, what's how do they get in contact with the proper people? The easiest way is to you can contact Topeka Public 
schools and the Office of Communications can give you the information, or you can call Big Brothers uh, directly, Big Brothers Big Sisters directly, and they'll be happy to share how to get connected. Dr. Julie Ford, thank you so much for your time. We really appreciate it. Well, we appreciate you too. Stay tuned. News Now at New continues just after this.